video I'm going to show you how to port forward your uh, Airport Extreme to make it work with a Swan DVR. Now in my case my Swan DVR is on mobile port 18004 that's the one to pay attention to. You need to have it set to DHCP and enable universal plug and play. Now these ports don't really matter for what we're doing here. The, the end result here is so you get a remote viewing through data on your cell phone. In my case I have the iPhone 5S and I have the uh, Swan app downloaded on there. In this case it's the Swan View Pro. So things to look at here is the mobile port. I would use this one, it worked for me. The IP address, it is, the short form of it is 10.0.1.3 in my case. Now this will most likely be different than yours, just the end number here. So enter that according to <coughs> what's on here when you get to yours. So here in the airport utility, you click your airport, go edit, and then into the network tab up here. Make sure it's uh, configured for DHCP and NAT. And first thing you want to do is create a DHCP reservation. Click plus, but in my case, I already have it in, so edit. Descri descri description can be anything, doesn't matter. Make it reserve address by MAC address. Type the MAC address of your SWAN DVR in. Now, this is under system information of your SWAN DVR. And it is right here. I blanked mine out because I don't want anyone seeing it. But enter that in on the airport or on the MAC address here. And then under your IPv4 address, you want your address of the uh, of the Swan DVR. Now, mine, as I said, is dot three. Yours is most likely different, and you need to enter that according to that. And then you have to forward, or you have to open the port one eight zero zero four, or whatever your mobile port is in your case. Again, it can be different. Description I don't think matters. I just put it as DVR HTTP. I don't think you need all the ports open. The public UDP, public TCP, on and on for private. But I open them all just because I tried just public or just public UDP and private UDP and that didn't work so I just put it all and it ended up working. So again, put the IP address of the SWAN DVR in there. So that has that covered. Now you have to make a uh, uh, SWAN DVR host server name. So how you do that is you go to mydvr.swandvr.com and you create one here. Now, I did that a while ago, so I'm not, I can't totally remember exactly everything about it. But you create that here and make it, make your domain your choice, and then with a password and everything, then enter that host name and username and password in here. You create all that when you make the uh, when you make the the domain here. Now, after you got that, check your port. In my case, it's one eight zero zero four, and I'm going to click check port. Success. I can see your service on your IP address on port the one you typed in. You need to have that as a success or it will not work. So that's good. Now, on your phone, 
when you enter the information in as a new DVR. Name, I again don't think matters, it's just something to go by. Address, put in the D, put in the domain address that you created on the uh, Swan DVR website. Then the port that you opened, and then for user ID and password, you need the password to get into your DVR. Just that login password, the local password there, ends up being the user ID and password here. So mine in this case is admin and then my password. Save that, go back, and try and load up the cameras on the application and everything should work if the port checks out and all your settings here are good. Anyways, uh, I could never find someone to explain all this to me. I kind of had to figure it out in pieces, so I made a video. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment below and thanks for watching.